on this episode of BMNG Drive Roadkill, find out that two V8s are better than one. All right, everybody. <laughs> you may be wondering, what in the hell is this? And you'll be very surprised to know that this is one half of Double Car. This is a vehicle that we made like back in what episode, like like episode thirty nine or thirty eight or something. This this was uh this was done a little while ago, and. You know, the double car has been since taken apart. That was probably one of my greatest but worst ideas that I've ever had. But it was still fun to have while we did. But I'm going to repurpose this Jeep because I've already mangled it enough. And we're going to do something very crazy with it today on today's episode. I don't exactly know what we're going to end up doing with it, but... We're just gonna see, but of course it it already needs the rear the rear suspension back in it. But uh, the um, whole front body that don't need that. Uh. I'm going to need the fascia. I'm going to need it, but we're just going to take it off for now. And yeah, we're going to need all of this room. And that is because uh, I have something very special today. And this is from the mind of, of course, the one who is, or the person who made Double Car, Innocent Customs. He has made this. Yes, this is two 4.5 liter V8s <laughs> mated to hopefully not a man. Uh, Four-speed automatic. This is two V8s mated to a chain drive, I think it is. There's some sort of a chain drive that mounts to the input shaft of the transmission, and yeah. But if you think we're done there, no. Because not only can I do... Uh, you know, two V8s. You can also put two blowers on it. <laughs> Look at this unit! <laughs> oh my Jesus, and this is in a Jeep. This is in the hopper. So you already know that this is going to handle terribly. I don't know what this is going to do well. This is purely being built because... Look at it. Look at that. <laughs> that... You know, you can always raise the question, what's better than one V8? Well, it's... It's two. With twin superchargers... <laughs> you know, I could have really done a lot with this, but as soon as I saw this mod came out, I was like, okay, this, this, I have to build this. And, well, I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with this, but 
The best thing we can do is take it around the block. <laughs> I don't know how powerful it's going to be. It's very powerful. Okay. <laughs> oh, I still have the fucking exhaust on this? Oh, no. It needs some big headers out the side. I think I can do that, actually. I, I do have to admit, though. Oh, my Jesus Christ. There's not enough weight in the back of this thing. Just, it's just blower. That's all you see. It's just superchargers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I've always that. Oh my Jesus, that view. I've always raised the question of, I've always wanted to do a, like, a V8-powered, like, Jeep with a big blower out the hood, kind of like the Roadkill BJ5. This is that fantasy on complete crack. <laughs> I just sent a picture of Andrew. Did this to Andrew? <laughs> and that is a unit. This is why I love this game more than Forza, because look at the stupid shit you can do. <laughs> this, this is just glory. Like, what would you say if you saw this Mad Max creation coming down the road? I think it even has a lift kit in the front still, but I'm going to put, like, a different axle and everything in it. But... Oh... This is too good. I don't want it to be four-wheel drive. I'd rather it be rear wheel in this case, because <laughs> trying to work with that is already going to be enough of a pain. I have to get these, like, locking hubs out of here. I don't really want them. Yeah, I don't really want that. We'll just keep the regular five lugs. For now, I'm probably going to put six lugs on it and some off-road tires. I thought about using Freak Show for this, too, but I think Freak Show should be something else. <laughs> oh, it's got power steering. Good, it's got power steering. That, that's always very good to have. Uh, hey, let me put the adjustable race ECU, because I'm going to want to rev it out more. There's no way I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, exhaust. See a side exit. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Four speed automatic. Uh, rear wheel drive transfer case. And let me just put the. Is it lifted in the front? It does. It, it is off road springs. So I'll just put some off road rear springs for now. Make it even. And let's piece the front back together, because uh, it needs a radiator. <laughs> uh, Alright, front fascia. Could put a reinforced one, but I'm not going to. Uh, just going to say radiator. We're just going to put a good old high performance one in it. Take the valance off, it doesn't need any of that. The, the grill, that's not, a. Uh, it's not necessary. The roll cage is pretty necessary, I'll give it that. Um, does it need front fenders? Oh, does it actually make the front fenders wider? 
Oh, it does, so then the V8 fits with the exhaust pipes. That's going to really limit of how big of tires I can put on it, so no fenders. Because, <laughs> of course, you want big tires on something with two V8s, you know? Well, maybe I'm not going to be able to do that in the front, but maybe I'll be able to put some, like, you know, good 40s in the back, maybe? <laughs> maybe, like, a small 30, 31, 33... <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, roof. Soft top roof. I don't care what color it's going to be. Okay, black. I think this unit is ready. What kind of rear does it have? Open nah, Limited slip. Have it be uncontrollable already. And let's go for a test drive. Oh my god. This thing's nuts. Uh, let's like raise that the uh, yeah, 65. A lot better. It's going to make more power. And I go straight into a fence. <laughs> it just blazes the tires. <laughs> Oh my god, this little light piece of shit. It... I'm willing to bet you the rear of this is lighter than the front. <laughs> oh god. Seeing that coming down the road at you, the, the scary as hell. <laughs> God, this thing doesn't handle well. It needs bigger tires. I mean, it, it cruises. Oh my god, this thing is sketchy. It. <laughs> I'm like trying not to hit the brakes, so then this. Yeah, the rear brakes are going to lock up before. It, need, it needs brakes before I do anything with it. I bet you this could do a really good burnout for distance. Yeah, it, 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 these tires aren't happy. It, it, it needs tires. Well, I'm going to make a game plan for this turd. Because, uh, I really don't know what I could do with this. It, 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 it's sad to say, but it makes almost too much power.
but yeah, I'm gonna get this thing back and I'm gonna make some type of a game plan. Because there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to drag race this and have it go in a straight line. No way. Now look at this unit. I gotta say, it looks pretty good. And I managed to fit a half decent big tire in the front. <laughs> it's it's close to the header, but uh it works. But I say, you know, this thing is pretty perfect for the roadkill standards. And yeah, we're about to beat the shit out of it. So what I've basically done is I put the uh I took the beam axle out of the front, and I basically put the uh, the driven one back in. It's four-wheel drive once again. So, yeah. This thing, we're just going to off-road the shit out of it and see if it breaks. I'm going to doubt it, but who, who knows? But I can tell you this. It handles like shit. Like I expected. <laughs> Whoa. Well, this is going to be the test if it is a, a good off-road unit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the limited slip differential is not a limited slip anymore. <laughs> Great. It is the four is four wheel working? It's not four-wheel drive. I shouldn't be able to do this. It's in four-wheel. Oh, well. Let's take it out. So the transfer case is fried already. Great. Oh, it's doing wheelies already. Oh my god. Not a lie for not having four wheel drive, this thing's doing pretty good. Oh my god.
brakes are terrible as well. <laughs> yeah, th this transmission also hates life. Yeah, it's not happy. Let's take it over to the other course over here. I doubt I'm gonna get through it without the four wheel, but we're we're gonna see how capable of a of a two V8 fucking Jeep this is. Ah, it's gonna make the turn for me. Thank you. Oh, it is taking this like it's nothing. This Jeep is taking the bumps like it's on the highway right now. It is doing great. Oh. fall off the edge. Yeah, the brakes suck. And this is why I think this thing is going to get stopped. Because it's good to, I think, to climb back up this in four wheel. Oh, unit. Unit. Jumping it like the General Lee. <laughs> I'd, you know, I'll give this thing the credit where it's due. It survived. I don't want to know how fast this thing is. I am deathly afraid to go fast in this. Oh, boy. It's a good Jeep. I will give it credit where it's due. It is a good Jeep. It just handles like shit. But we gotta do the uh, the best for last here.
laptop. Oh yeah, look at that. It tells me if the laptop is over. Or, yeah, the laptop tells me if it's overheating. Did I bend it? Is it me or does it look like I bent something? <laughs> the Jeep looks a little. Yeah, it, it it doesn't look like. Uh, it doesn't look like it's sitting flat. Maybe I bent the frame. <laughs> and I never have to drive this stupid thing again. Oh my god. Yeah, th this thing handles like complete shit. It, it, this isn't made for going in a straight line at all. This is really... <laughs> just something for a joke. But I will give it credit where it's due... It's a ripper in the in the dirt. It it can get through mud pretty easily. I don't know what happened to the four wheel drive and the limited slip rear diff all of a sudden, but there you go, everybody. Another green Jeep that uh that ha that doesn't have working four wheel drive. Freak Show didn't have it, and this one doesn't have it either. So on a pretty good roll with Jeeps, they all fail. Every single one of them. Well, this one's a half failure because it didn't get stuck and it didn't break. Which is good. I'm glad I didn't break it because I don't have to fix it. Because <laughs> I really don't want to fix this thing. <laughs> so, hopefully you have enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.